we're gonna hop on our mats and um, as always if you need any props go ahead and grab those and just listen to your body today if you feel like anything's bothering you just back off a little bit um, just go to your own capacity and um, do what you need to do all right all right let's get started Okay, so just finding that nice, comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall. And just let the shoulders kind of roll up toward the ears and roll the shoulders down the back. And close your eyes. Let your hands rest lightly down on the thighs. Just starting to relax through the shoulders, but kind of keep those shoulders open as you kind of lift the heart up, lift the crown of the head up. Relax the hips down toward the earth. Let your knees and feet relax. Continue with the deep, even breath. to get a sense of your intention today, why you're here, why you're in this space. Take a few more deep, full breaths, really cultivating the breath in and out through the nose. Filling up the lungs on the inhales, really expanding. And on the exhales, releasing the air, draw the navel toward the spine slightly. Good, on your next inhale, we'll sweep the arms up over the head. Bring the palms together and relax the shoulders away from the ears as you bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep up, look up. Exhale, chin to the chest, hands to the heart. One more, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, chin to chest, hands to the heart. And bring the hands back down onto your thighs. Bring the head back up to neutral. Just kind of relax the shoulders, maybe do some shoulder rolls here. And especially if you've been working on a computer a lot, you might feel some tightness through the shoulders and the head and the neck. Good, and we'll release the shoulders down. And I'll take the right ear toward the right shoulder. And breathe here into that space on the left side of your neck. breaths here. We'll bring the chin to the chest and take the left ear to left shoulder, allowing that right shoulder to relax down. Breathing into the space on the right side of the neck. Beautiful. And again, we'll kind of bring the head to center and bring the head over to the right. And then we're just going to take the chin and turn the chin toward the right shoulder. So again, we're stretching down through the left side of the neck. And breathe. Beautiful. Again, chin across the chest. And then just take the chin and look over the left shoulder. chin to the chest. Gently keep the chin down at the chest. Interlace the fingers and bring the hands behind the head. So we'll take the thumbs right at the base of the skull and take the thumbs and kind of pull up slightly so you're stretching the back of the neck here as you draw the chin toward the chest. Try to keep the elbows open and deep breath. Back up to center, keep the hands right where they are. 
As you exhale, we'll hinge over to the right, let the left elbow kind of come up toward the sky. Maybe the gaze can look up slightly. Kind of lean your head back into your hands. Inhale through center, exhale, left elbow down, right elbow back, head toward the hands. Beautiful, inhaling back to center, release the arms, just relax those arms down. Nice. All right, so we're going to come on over now, and actually we're going to do a little twisting. So. If you can, keep your right knee bent, your foot stays in, and your left knee comes back. So we're sitting up nice and tall. All right, take your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind the right hip. Inhale, elongate through the spine, and as you exhale, twist. Look over the right shoulder. Deep, full breath. Inhale, we'll come back to center. Keep your left hand on your knee. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, hinge over to the left. Be a nice big stretch through the right side body. Stretching through the rib cage. Beautiful. Inhale and coming back to center, and we'll switch now. So we'll bend the left knee, bring the left foot in. Right knee comes back. Find that nice tall spine here. Right hand to the left knee, left hand behind. Inhale, elongate through the spine. As you exhale, twist and breathe. Deep breaths here. Maybe close the eyes. Recall your purpose, your intention. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Inhale, hinge over to the right. Nice big stretch through the left side. Beautiful. Inhaling back to center. And we'll come over now to our hands and knees. Finding the cheek, the shoulder over the wrist below the hips, pressing the mat away from you, engaging through the upper body, gently drawing the core toward the spine, so we're really engaging the core. Good, extend the right leg back, flex the foot, beautiful. Now draw that right hip forward slightly as if you're going to draw the hip toward a socket and then reach the left arm forward. If you need to pad your left knee, please pad your knee and breathe. Beautiful. Exhale, lower the left hand down, lower the right knee. Do the opposite side, extend the left leg back. All right, flexing the foot, draw the hip into the socket a little bit. Reach the right arm forward. Breathing deep. lower hand and knee. All right, so we're going to do a few more rounds of something similar. If you need to pad your knees or release your wrist, you can come up to your fist, okay? So from here, extending the right leg back. Extend the left arm forward. Inhale. As you exhale, open kind of in a dia diagonal. So the right leg is coming to the right, left arm to the left, back to center. Exhale, open. Inhale, center. Open, center, one more, center, and this time we're going to lower the left hand down, take the right foot, come over to the left, so we're going to cross the leg over to the left, press the mat away from you, inhale, as you exhale, look over your left shoulder towards your right heel, All right, deep breath here. Bring the right knee back down. All right, opposite side. 
Extend the left leg back, reaching through the heel. Right arm forward. Inhale, extend. Exhale, open at a diagonal. Inhale, center. Exhale, open. Beautiful. Inhale, center. Open. I lost count. We're going to do one more. Beautiful. Keep the left leg extended as you bring the arm down. Lift the heel and then take it over to the right, crossing the foot over. Look back towards your left heel, over your right shoulder. Deep breath. Beautiful, and we'll bring the left knee back down. Nice job. All right, from here, extend the right leg back, inhale. Lift it up high. As you exhale, step the right foot up between the hands. Beautiful. Bring the right hand or the hands up to the right thigh. Inhale, lift the heart. As you exhale, sink down with the hips. Good. So sinking down helps to stretch the hips. If you sink way forward, you're going to lose some of that stretch. All right. We want to keep the knee and ankle somewhat lined up here. Beautiful. Keep the heart reaching. Crown of the head reaching. Nice. All right, let's bring both hands around the right foot. We're just going to make circles here with the right hip and the right knee, getting into that hip joint, getting into the knee joint. Got to keep those nice and lubricated so that we can stay healthy, keep our joints healthy for longer, okay? keeping us nice and young, right? And then we'll go in the opposite direction. And we'll come back to center. Step with the right knee back. And then when you're ready, inhale, extend your left leg, lift it up high. As you exhale, step the foot between the hands. Beautiful. Inhale, both hands up to the front thigh. Exhale, sink the hips down toward the earth. Take a couple of breaths right here. Good. Now we'll take those hands down around the foot and start making those circles. Taking small or big ones, just breathe. And then the opposite direction. Always remembering the breath. Starting from the inside out, using our breath as a tool. Pausing here. And then this time we're going to lift the back knee and just step the back foot forward. Bring the feet about hip width distance. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Release the head and neck. Maybe shaking the head a little bit from side to side or forward and back. Release the hands. Bend the knees enough to where your belly kind of rests down on the thighs so you can release the hamstrings and the lower back. Nice, now press through the feet. Slowly start to roll yourself all the way up to standing. Roll the shoulders down the back, right? Have the arms down by the sides here. up over the head, bend the knees, and come into a little chair pose. All right, so sit, sink the hips back a little bit as you reach up through the arms. Good, and stay here. I'm going to scoot this back so that you can see me better. All right, so we're in chair. Good, send those hips back, root down. On an exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Bring the hands down around 
the feet, step back into plank. Pause in that plank, lifting up through the body. So we're really engaging the core here. And start to notice the space between you, between the mat and yourself. What does that feel like? Inhale, shift forward. As you exhale, hug your elbows in. Come all the way down to the belly. Roll the shoulders down the back. Bring the forehead down. Beautiful. Pressing through the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift up into that baby cobra. Roll the shoulders down the back. On your exhale, lower. We're going to work a little bit on our back. So keep pressing through the tops of the feet as you inhale. Lift up. On an exhale, lower. This time we'll come up just a little bit higher. We're gonna wave through the spine. Inhale, waving up through the spine. Exhale, reach the heart up. Maybe you're still low, that's fine. If you're higher, that's fine too. Just keep lifting through the heart. Press through the tops of your feet. Breathe. And when you're ready, exhale slowly to come down. Beautiful. Now tuck the toes, inhale, plank, exhale, downward dog, nice. From here, just have your feet about hip width distance, root down through the finger pads more than the, the rest of your hands, so you're kind of using the finger pads here. Try not to press too hard through the palms, release the head and neck, send those hips up high. And start to relax the heels down. Even if your heels don't touch all the way, it's totally fine. Beautiful, inhale, lift the right leg up. As you exhale, we're gonna bend the knee, but send the foot up and over. Stretching the hip flexor. Beautiful, back to center, extend the leg, lower the foot. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Bend the knee, send the foot over to the right. Beautiful, back to center, lower the foot. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, we'll step the feet up to the hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, press through the feet. <clears throat> Inhale, stoop into our chair pose. Good, sitting down through the hips. Engaging the core, breathing. As you exhale, bring the hands around the front feet, or around the feet, and then we'll step back into our plank again. Now again, if you need to rest the wrist, you can come to your forearms, and we'll just shift back and forth. Noticing the space again between your body and the floor, and the mat, and pause. Inhale, shifting forward, exhale, hug the elbows in, come all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Beautiful, tuck the toes, either knees down plank, or regular plank, and then on your exhale, downward dog. All right, we're gonna play here if you want to stay in downward dog, if you want to come to child's pose, whatever you want to do here. But we are going to come into wild things. So if you want to try it, go for it. If not, again, options are yours. So we're going to start with the lifting the left leg up. Bend the left knee, open the foot, open the knee. All right, so we're stretching the left hip. Inhale, on your exhale, bend the right knee a little bit as you take the left foot all the way around. Now you're gonna turn both toes facing toward the back, press through the feet, lift your hips, lift your left arm up and back. Deep breath. And then when you're ready, reaching the arm up and around, bend the elbow, bend the knee, lift your left leg up and lower. Awesome. Take a breath here. You can always come down to your knees. I'm gonna switch over so I don't hit the wall. All right. 
Let's try the other side. When you're ready, inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, bend the knee, shift uh, the foot up toward the sky and then over. Okay? Pausing, opening the hip. Stay here or start to bend your left knee. As you come around, lower the right foot down, toes facing forward, right arm up and back. Press through the feet, lift those hips. When you're ready, gently come back around, bending the knees, try not to tweak the lower back. Reach the right leg up and then lower the right foot. Come down to the knees, hips to the heels, child's pose. Flip the palms over, releasing the wrists. Deep, full breaths here. Allow yourself to be in this child's pose, right? Allow yourself to, to take some time to breathe, right? To come back to your intention. On your next inhale, reach the arms forward and look up between the hands. As you exhale, lift the hips slightly into the balls of the feet. We're going to walk the hands toward the knees. Okay? Start to lean back, press down through the feet, press through the feet as you transition up, pressing down, but come into a um, chair. So you're sitting back, palms facing each other. And spin the pinkies so the pinkies are kind of coming in toward each other. And relax the shoulders. Engage the, engage the thighs. Engage the quads. Press through the feet. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Nice. All right, bend the knees. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Crawl your fingers forward, coming into a downward dog. And let your heels again be heavy. Press through the finger pads more. Good. Continuing the deep breath. Nice. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step the feet all the way up between the hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Release the head and neck. Good. Now from here, take the right foot, step it back behind you. Either coming to the ball of the foot or lowering the whole foot down. All right, whatever works best for you. We're gonna stay with the lower body just like this. Right, and kind of in a low lunge. We're gonna walk the hands to the inside of your right foot. You kind of walk them over, um, so you're kind of coming at an angle. This hip's gonna to want to pop out. You can draw the left hip back. Walk the hands up to the upper right corner of your mat. Right, so we're finding this angled fold here. Maybe bend the left knee a little bit more and release. This right foot of mine is wanting to come parallel so you can do what feels right on your right foot and we'll draw the left hip back beautiful and then walk the hands back toward the foot and if you're not already bring the right foot down so it's parallel with the back edge of your mat press through the feet inhale warrior two and actually we're going to bring the hands to the waist and roll the shoulders down the back. Feel the burn on the left thigh. Re grab opposite elbows. So I keep lifting up through the heart. Press through the feet, inhale. As you exhale, lean back slightly. Little heart opener here. Beautiful, come back to center. Reach those arms out into warrior two. And as you exhale, we're going to bring the hands around the 
front foot, ball of the back foot, and then we'll step the back foot forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Step the left foot back now. And we're gonna do all of that on this side. Okay, so whatever feels best on this left foot, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my foot parallel. And draw the right hip back slightly as we take the hands to the inside of the foot. Start to walk the hands over to the upper left corner of your mat. Inhale. As you exhale, fold. Releasing head and neck. Releasing the toes. Draw the right hip back. Bowing down. We'll walk the hands back toward the right foot. Press through both feet, left foot's parallel. Sweep the left arm up and back, right arm forward, relax the shoulders. All right, again, we're gonna grab opposite elbows behind the back. Inhale, lift up through the heart. As you exhale, lean back. Find that nice heart opener here. Allowing ourselves to be open compassionate, vulnerable, allowing the throat to open, speaking our truth. Beautiful. And then back to center, reach the arms out into warrior two. As you exhale, both hands around the front foot. Now walk, let's walk the fingers toward the center of the mat as you bring the feet parallel to each other. So you have your feet wider than your hips, pressing through the finger pads or the palms. Lift the heart. As you exhale, start to fold forward. Little bend in the knees here. Release the head and neck. Beautiful forward fold. This is an inversion, so you might feel the blood rushing toward the head from the heart. Notice the connection in the body. Head to heart, hips to heart to head. Beautiful. Take a few more deep breaths. Bending the knees, inhale, slowly roll up through the spine. When you come up, bring the hands to the waist. Gently hop those feet back together. Beautiful. Let's take a moment here in our mountain pose to kind of regroup, relax the shoulders. Close the eyes gently. Isometrically pulling the feet apart from each other, engaging thighs and core. Letting go of your image of yourself, right? Whether it's negative or positive. So you can just be in the moment. No judging one way or the other. Inhale, reach the arms up over the head. As you exhale, interlace the fingers and flip the palms over so your hands are facing up toward the sky. Press through the feet, inhale. As you exhale, hinge to the right, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears. Maybe the gaze can look up. Try to root down through both feet equally. On an exhale, see if you can go just a little further over to the right. Inhale, using the core, coming back to center. As you exhale, hinge over to the left. Maybe the gaze turns up, root down through both feet. Awesome, come back to center. Exhale, release those arms. Beautiful, awesome job. All right, let's do a little 
breath of joy before we come down to seated. All right, you know what, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna bend those knees a little bit. Inhale, sweep up. As you exhale, let all the air out, reach the arms down. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Two more. One more. Good. Next time you reach up, keep the arms up. Open the arms wide. Spread the fingers wide. Draw the thumbs back. Step the feet open. Lift the heart. Beautiful. Reaching up. Hands to the heart center. Step or hop your feet back together. And then we'll gently bend the knees and come on down. Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and extend the legs along the mat, flexing the feet here. Spread those toes wide. Imagine there's sun shining through the toes, spreading the toes wide. And then start to walk the hips back so you're sitting up nice and tall. Maybe you need to remove some of the flesh underneath the sit bones. All right, bring the hands down by the sides. Take a breath here, maybe close your eyes and just notice the engagement through the lower body. You're engaging all of the muscles. Beautiful. Now keeping the engagement, reach the arms up over the head. As you exhale, Gently start to fold forward so you can keep those legs engaged as you reach forward. Let the hands come down wherever they come down. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, walk the fingertips forward as you release the head and neck. Good, and now if you need to, as you're folding, if this really feels tight through the hamstrings, you can bend the knees, all right? Try to keep the toes open here, just as an experiment. On your next inhale, we're going to walk our hands back up. Let's keep the left leg extended. You can relax that leg. Bend the right knee and just cross the knee over the ankle, or the ankle over the knee. And we're just going to make circles with the ankle and the foot. Opposite direction. We've got to keep our feet healthy. All right, now from here, let's just kind of massage that right foot, however it feels good to you. Getting into the toes. Just make sure you cover the, the whole foot here. Good, and then maybe massage the ankle a little bit too. feel satisfied, we're gonna extend the right leg, just relax that foot, and we'll do the, the opposite side. All right, so make circles with the right foot, or the left foot, in one direction and then the other. Nice, and then when, you, when you're ready, when you feel ready, you can just start massaging that foot. Whatever feels good to you, just make sure you get all the toes, to that ankle a little bit. Good, and then when you're ready, extending the left leg down. And just notice here, how does that feel? Do you feel any tingling sensations, circulation moving? All right, we're gonna slowly come on down to the back and hug those knees into the belly. Give yourself a giant hug here, take a deep breath. Let the belly expand toward the thighs. Hold the breath in if you can. And then exhale through the mouth. Allow the lower back to come down toward your mat. Beautiful. All right, let's place the hands.
hands right on top of the knees. So the fingertips are pointing down towards your ankles, towards your toes. And then exhale, I'm gonna draw the knees in, bend the elbows. Right, on an inhale, send the knees forward as you press the hands onto the knees, knees into the hands. So we're kind of creating a little resistance here. And then draw the knees in on an exhale. Inhale forward, lower back toward the mat as you press the knees into the hands. And bend. One more. Inhale, extend. And exhale, bend. Awesome. Now let's make circles with the knees, wide circles here. direction. Beautiful. All right. Now you can just bring both feet flat down on the mat or if you want to open the knees wide and bring the feet together, go for it. But wherever you are, place one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart and close your eyes. Take some deep breaths into, into your hands. body and mind, sense of connection, sense of trust, take a couple more breaths right here, relaxing the shoulders. Welcome to stay just like this for Shavasana or extend the legs down the mat or just bend the knees and bring the feet down and you can have the arms by the sides, whatever version of Shavasana you want to take today. Whenever you do find that Shavasana, keep the eyes closed and just take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold that breath in, and when you exhale, sigh it out, letting everything melt down toward the earth, allowing gravity to take over, so releasing any gripping in the body, release the controlled breath. Thoughts of what's to come next. Allow your entire body to melt down and be soft. just a little while longer. Start to deepen the breath, filling up the lungs, expanding the body. Taking any gentle movements that feel good. Ready, 
slowly bringing the knees toward the belly. Gently rolling over to one side. Taking your time to come back up to a comfortable seat. come up, we're going to place both palms right over the heart. So instead of our hands in prayer, we're going to have our hands right over the heart. And bow the thinking mind down toward the loving heart. And breathe. Thank yourself for making it to your space today. Taking care of yourself so you can give out to the world. The world needs us right now. And thank you so much for allowing me to guide you. Namaste.